This is the new NSX from Honda. It's a hybrid supercar with both a twin turbo V6 petrol engine as well as three electric engines, producing together 581 PS. 0 to 60 is handled in just three seconds. Here we are, the Honda NSX. Gary, yeah. what do you think? Your first impressions? I think it's absolutely beautiful. Stunning looking car, isn't it? To be honest, yeah, really nice, particularly from this angle. Um, just looking at the, at the front quarter here and across the side and across the bonnet, it just looks perfect. Very aggressive, but fairly restrained in some respects. Yeah, it's not, I mean, if you think about other brands like Lamborghini, that kind of thing, some of them are quite garish, aren't they? Quite out there. Whereas this, it manages to look different whilst keeping a kind of a sleek um, form to it. It's subtle, but not, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I don't think you'd feel too uh, like an idiot driving it around. No, I mean, you get a lot of attention, but it, it's because it's different, isn't it? It's a different kind of car on the road, but it's not too in your face. I just think they've done a really good job with the styling. Good looking alloys around here, carbon yep. ceramic brakes. Nice alloys, carbon ceramics, big old calipers there. I like the aero as well, down the side. So if you look at this swage line on the side, it feeds into the radiator scoop and then the air can actually cut through this part here and I'm guessing it forces the boot down to create some downforce. It's a red light. <laughs> red light. <laughs> go, 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 go. Sport mode. So I suppose this will be where the four-wheel drive kick, tra yeah, should traction good, off yeah. the line will kick yeah. in. So drag race to 50. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't really gunning it either. No. I was very ginger with the pedal. It's great traction. Oh, yeah. like, it's quite wet, isn't it, today? It's yeah, quite greasy yeah. on the roads. In my opinion, you can't go wrong with a four-wheel drive, high-powered four-wheel drive no, car. That's what you want. You want four-wheel drive in a car with this amount of power. Yeah. How did it feel from the passenger seat there? Oh, it was good. It felt nice, it felt nice and planted. It, it wasn't sort of squatting or anything like that, just nice and stable, nice and flat. I didn't I gave it maybe 20-30%. Really? I didn't want to you don't boot you don't boot it for the first time this type of car. <laughs> That's how you end up in a tree. <laughs> okay. Aaron driving. Oh <laughs> no, no, I didn't I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> so we've got a little straight straight bit of road here. <laughs> you feel it in your stomach, don't you? It feel is it quick. crazy. It is very quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! I can tell you weren't flooring it before. <laughs> I heard the turbo spool up and then Did the you? just went. Yeah. So here we go, nice bit of uh, twisty road. Twisty road. <laughs> So this is a hybrid car, petrol engine, V6, obviously electric motors as well, driving the wheels as well. So when you're sort of cruising around town below 40 mile an hour, you can go fully electric. You can go full electric, yeah. yeah. So yeah, when you're cruising around town, you can go full eco mode. And then if you want to get it out on a bit of a twisty, you know, nice road on a Sunday drive, uh, Sport Plus, and the taps open, and off you go. <laughs> It's very comfortable though. You feel like you could drive a long distance in this car and you wouldn't get too tired too quickly. You know, active damping suspension. So you have, you know, the best of both worlds. It's yeah. very, very comfortable, but also very, very planted and stable. What I will say though, is the pedal feel is really nice. The brake pedal is very linear, very gradual. You're not braking too hard without realizing it. Yeah. The accelerator pedal is very linear. They've got the pedals absolutely correct. What do you think? From an interior point of view? Yeah. Now, some people have criticized this car 
for being a supercar with a civic interior. And it's not, quite frankly. They have ported over a few bits from the Civic, um, such as the uh, screen and the, the, inf and the, and the inf infotainment system. The infotainment, yeah, I know, it's, it's the but same. The interior is miles ahead of the uh, Civic interior. It's leather everywhere. It's, it's very definitely flush. more premium, isn't it's it? It's absolutely more premium. These seats are lovely as well. They're kind of, um, they are kind of full on bucket seats, but they've also got that kind of premium feel, haven't they? Yeah, they're not, they're yeah, not they're too uncomfortable. They're very comfortable. The seats are very comfortable. Heated leather as well, which is always a bonus. But I kind of think, looking at the dashboard and the inside of this car, it almost resembles the outside. Oh, yes. So you've got the centre here, which kind of looks like the rear of the car, and all the angles, and it just, just flows nicely with the exterior. So I think they've kind of tied it in nicely. Looks like you've thought about this, Gary. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right, this does look like the nose yeah. of the car. I just looked at the middle and I thought, it looks like the outside of the car, so it's kind of well thought of. It's not just been slapped in. But no, you've got Alcantara here in the centre as well. Yep. Just around your drive mode selection, etc. Yep, Alcantara on the doors. It's all very nice and plush. Glossy door handles, which are quite nice. But no, first impressions of the inside of the car, I really like it. I enjoy it, yeah, it's really good. You don't have a, a shifter for the auto box. You've got individual buttons, which I think is quicker. I like that. Yeah, yeah, it's less uh, cumbersome, isn't it? Mm. But it's a very nice steering wheel to hold. It's very small. That's what you want though, isn't nice it? Nice and yeah. agile, yeah. Good, Sporty good location car. for the paddles. I say I like the paddle shifters, how they're quite long, so it's harder mm. to miss your gear. Yeah, you can, you can hold the wheel up here and properly down here yeah. as well. And they've solved the main problem with the Civic Type R. They don't have oh, pointy the buttons. <laughs> these are all nice and soft. They hurt they don't my hurt. fingertips. They don't, they don't hurt. Well, I can use these for hours. Well, they obviously watched your video, Neil, and redesigned Quickly, the whole of the and went back to basics. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not too sure about the infotainment system, to be perfectly honest. I think for a car of this much, you know, which costs yeah. this much in this price yeah. point, could be a bit sleeker. You can understand why they ported it over because yeah. it's just a part from yeah. parts catalogue, and they're not going to develop a separate no. infotainment system. I mean, we're running Apple CarPlay now. It's Which solves a lot of the problems. Yeah, it's, it's got everything you yeah. need, but it could be a little bit nicer, but yeah. There are a few negatives though. Yeah. Um, storage. Storage is low. I mean, you kind of expect that, but there's nothing in the doors. It's just all speaker. Yeah, there's no pocket. Well, you could get a phone in there. Mm, maybe. An yeah. iPhone, maybe, yeah. or any other brand that's available. A tiny bit of storage back here. Charge your phone. Yeah, you've got a little cubby hole in the center, which is I'm guessing it's for your keys, where you put your keys. All we can hold, really. And then, the comical thing is, in the little glove box that you have, you have a little treat, which is this, which is a <laughs> cup holder. If you've got a cup of coffee, it goes in there, and then that slides in the side, and you have your own portable little cup. I mean, what else do you need? <laughs> They're very much an afterthought, that though, isn't it? It it's is like, an afterthought. It's like, there's no cup holder. I wonder if they went out and did the test drive and somebody had a coffee and he was like, <laughs> there's no cup holder. We'll make one and we'll stick it in there. But no, it's, it's, it's quite a good idea, but it means if you don't want to use that, it takes up space in the glove box. Which is quite small to begin with as well, yeah. actually. It's a very small glove box. We've got two bottles of water in there and you can't really fit much That's else. Shame they've used kind of the standard Honda switch gear because the indicator stalks are very cheap and it just lets the car down. It's that not. It does look a little bit 1995 sort of Honda Civic, doesn't it? It just feels horrible. It's just really light and cheap. What I'd like to see in a car like this is some sort of, I don't know, aluminium or, you know, just a different material. Because they're, they're like, that's one of your touch points, isn't it? Yeah. You want your touch points to be a good quality film. Another thing about the switch gear. <laughs> no, should we talk about the switch gear? <laughs> <laughs> Elsewhere though, all the buttons are really nice soft touch, all really well thought out. That's the only downside of the interior cabin. What I really like is you look through this bit of glass and you're greeted by a nice carbon fibre engine cover. Oh yeah, it's nice. Which is where the heart of the beast sits. Yeah. Are you ready for my pop quiz? Hot shot? Your pop quiz, Pop yes. quiz. So this price on the road is £150,000 with yeah. three years servicing. Yeah. Uh, this particular car, one hundred eighty-one thousand pounds. Okay, so thirty thousand in options. 30. This paint, how much it cost? Thousand. Five thousand. Wow, five thousand. Yeah. Uh, can I request something, by the way? What? If I get one right, yeah. can you get? Can you put the ding noise in? <laughs> if I get one wrong, can you go? Can you do that? Yes. Okay, yeah, go on, carry on. Carbon fibre engine cover. Carbon fibre engine cover. About this this big. Yeah. Carbon fibre. Yeah. 800 pounds. 3,000 pounds. 
for the cover. Yeah. This uh, black Alcantara headlining. Yep. How much? 500. 1100. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, okay. Whatever I think of, I'm going to triple it. <laughs> triple and then it. See how we get. <laughs> Ceramic brake discs Ooh. with red brake calipers. Three and a half thousand. I want you to be braced for this. £8,400. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. So carbon fibre exterior sport package. So carbon fibre front spoiler, rear diffuser and side steels, dark chrome exhaust finisher. Two and a half thousand. 7,100. No way. <laughs> wow. So the Garmin navigation, CD player, front and rear parking sensors. Yeah. Oh, you pay extra for that? You pay extra for that, yeah. You got that? Uh, 1500 1700 But you'd expect it to be standard in the car. You would expect it to be standard. In, this. in a car this day and age, what does it come with a standard? Steering wheel and two pedals. Yeah, I suppose it's time to reflect on our day with this uh, <laughs> this awesome car. Yeah. It's been very nice, hasn't it? It's been, it's been very impressive, this car. It's been a good experience because it's not every day you get to drive a car of this value, is it? No, of this no. kind of status. It's extremely refined. It's very, very powerful, but in a very controlled way. You can drive this car very fast. You don't ever think you're going to be out of control. Four-wheel drive makes it very safe, and it's just absolutely rapid. It is, it is rapid, isn't it? Phenomenally fast, it's, this car. It's quicker than what I expected, yeah. uh, to be fair. And with the four-wheel drive system, the traction is just awesome, isn't yeah. it? We, we've had sort of, we've had damp, slippery roads all day. I, I, I think this car ticks all of the boxes that it's probably meant to tick. Yeah. It's fast, comfortable, handles well, looks nice. It draws attention. We um, have had a lot of looks. We've had a, a, a hell of, of a lot of looks. Yeah, 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 a lot of attention. This car more than what I expected. It's quite good on fuel as well for what it is. Um, it's still averaging 22.2 miles per gallon. The only thing is, is is the price point. Yeah. Uh, for somebody of, well, someone like you and I, I speak for us both. <laughs> I wouldn't buy. I couldn't afford to buy it no, for a start. No, buy and it. If I had the money. I'm not sure if I would. I mean, the car is fantastic, the car's brilliant. And as we were chatting about earlier on, it just seems to be missing that little something special. Yeah, some of the magic factor, some of the, the wow factor, because even though this is a very expensive car, I'm not getting out thinking I'll do anything I can to own it, you know. I, yeah. I'm very happy just to have enjoyed the day and then kind of exactly. walk away and think, oh, it was nice, but I don't <laughs> really desire this car. No, you took the words out of my mouth there, to be fair. I'll yeah. tell you what, this is a track beast would be phenomenal yeah if you, I, if you own this car and tracked it you would have so much fun i'd love to get on a track yeah because we've only scraped the surface haven't we oh, the performers yeah on public roads i mean there's only so much you can do within speed limits and stuff like that but yeah on a track oh, this would be phenomenal you? i think it'd be an animal yeah but no, i'm very grateful for the uh, experience today uh, thank you for inviting me along no problem. to have a drive and uh, yeah so. my last trivia question for you NSX stands for something. Does it? Yeah. What do you think it stands for? Ah, oh, you'll never get no. it in a million years because it's, it's rubbish. Well Is done. it? Yeah. Um, never <laughs> spotted. In a quarter of a mile at the roundabout, <laughs> take the second exit to Cherry Tree Road. What, the hell? what does NSX mean? Really? NSX New Sports Experience. Ah, oh, it's terrible. Isn't the X it? is cheating. <laughs> I know. It should be an NSE. <laughs>